Hello everyone and welcome to Noodle Journey, your destination for detailed and informative unboxings of the Instant Noodle universe. Because today I've got a small shipment of goodies I ordered from Ramen Mall. Before we get started, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you want to see some reviews and if you enjoy this unboxing. It's been a while since I've done an unboxing, so I thought I'd give one another shot and see if you all like it. This came from ramenmall.com, uh, which is a site I have linked to and recommended in the past, but haven't actually ordered from myself until this past week. Because, well, they had something super special in stock that wasn't available anywhere else, and you'll see that in a minute. Now, Ramen Mall has a pretty good selection of familiar favorites, plus stuff I've literally never seen for sale anywhere else, so it's a pretty nice variety. Their prices are a few dollars more than what you'd pay in stores for multi-packs, but they shipped everything immediately the day I ordered it, and it got to my door in three days with standard shipping. You can't beat that. So, let me pop this open so you can see what I got. So first off, looks like a nice job with the packing material. Everything seems pretty firmly in place. Thanks for keeping my noodles safe through the mail, Ramen Mall. All right, well, if it wasn't obvious, this is the pack that stands out the most, and this is the reason I bought from Ramen Mall in the first place. Samyang Bulldog. Tom Yum flavor. Yeah, this is brand new. Literally just launched in the US this month, January 2024. Ramen Mall is the only online retailer I could find that currently sells it. Uh, and it'll start popping up in other stores just like all the other US Baldock flavors eventually, but uh, well, I wanted to try it now and get it reviewed. Uh, and if you want it now, here it is. I also grabbed a couple of packs of Paldo's stir-fried chicken noodles with spicy soy sauce. Uh, I use these to get to the free shipping threshold. And I've actually had a single bite of this once, like a few years ago, uh, but that's a story I'll tell when I sit down to review these for a video. I remember them being really good, uh, but I'll be able to get a proper review on the books now that I have some more. Now the rest of the noodles in here are products I have never seen before, uh, either in person or for sale online, uh, which always intrigues me, and so I had to order them. Uh, like, check this one out. This is an imported Otogi product from South Korea called Kangaksu Ramen. Now the product description calls this a rich and savory cold soybean soup. I have never seen anything like this before, uh, so of course I had to get it. Since this is a cold soup, I will make time to review this in the summertime when the weather gets hotter. And this is another really interesting import product from Otogi. Uh, these are red bean noodles. So this is a noodle soup with a broth made from red beans. I thought it was going to be kind of like jajangmyeon, but uh, it looks like this is an actual straight up broth with chunks of red beans in it. Totally unique to me. Uh, I can't wait to see what this tastes like. And finally, since I love trying fusion food so much, good or bad, uh, this is a Vietnamese brand I've never seen before called Omachi. And please forgive me if I butcher this pronunciation, but this is their Mi Tron Sat Spaghetti. Yes, your eyes are not deceiving you. This is Vietnamese spaghetti with tomato sauce. Wild. I can't wait to try this too. Uh, so like I said, it's not the best value, but I also couldn't find any of these varieties aside from the Paldo anywhere. And that to me is worth the extra cost. 
So check out ramenmall.com and see if they have anything you'd like to try. Their service was excellent. I am going to film the Bulldog Tom Yum review immediately after this, so watch out for that video real soon. In the meantime, please let me know which of these other noodles you want to see added to the review pile first, and I will get to them when I can. And let me know if you'd like more unboxing videos in the future, or not. I'll see you next time on Noodle Journey.